iPhone 10 is a polarizing smartphone, but one thing Apple did right was ditching the physical home button and replace it with a series of software-based swipe gestures. Navigation gestures are all the rage these days. Everyone has them. Apple, OnePlus, Xiaomi, Huawei, and now Google in Android P. Everyone does them differently too. And if you want that too in your device, then this app brings customizable gesture control to any Android device. For those users who are looking to get into gesture navigation or are looking for an alternative to the existing options. Unlike other similar apps on the Play Store though, this app can do something that no other app can. Completely hide the stock software navigation bar, lending to a truly full screen experience which is especially nice on phones with tall displays. So if you want this similar feature on your Android devices without doing any advanced level stuff like routing, then here is a quick tutorial on that. Excited? So let's get started. The developers from XDA released a new Android application called Navigation Gestures that doesn't need root access to work and that's a great plus. Furthermore, it can be installed on pretty much any Android device that's still supported and even older ones. So now let's head straight into the procedure. First you need to install the application from the Play Store. After you install it, launch the application then it will ask you to grant some permissions. Once you grant app permissions, you will be asked to provide accessibility service permission. Note, if you want to uninstall the app, remember to disable these two toggles or else you will not be able to disable them. After you are done with the initial setup, you will have to use ADB commands to finish the setup. But first we have to set up ADB. So now you will be needing the SDK platform tool for which I'll be leaving the link in the description down below. From here, download the SDK platform tool according to your OS as it supports Windows, Mac and Linux also. I'll be downloading the Windows version which is around 4 MB. Once downloaded, extract the zip file into a folder. In the next step, we have to enable USB debugging. For that, open setting menu on your device. Now go to about phone and tap 7 times on build number. This will enable developers option. Now go back to setting and you will see developers option there. Open it and scroll down until you see USB debugging option and just enable it. Now you are good to go. Now open a command window or PowerShell inside the SDK folder. To do that, press shift and right click on mouse on any empty white space inside the folder and then select open command window here from the context menu. Now type ADB devices and press enter. You will get a list of connected devices and you can find your device here. Now in order to hide the navigation buttons, just type this command. Now there you have it. The app is pretty self-explanatory and there is a single caveat. The app is separated into two parts, a free one and a premium version. The paid section allows user to interact with the notification drawer and to access multimedia controls. If you don't need that, you can use as it is and customize it as much as you want. There is no ads and no strings attached. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you do, then do consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.